Hey guys, welcome to Apex. In this video, I just wanted to share some updates on the ECG feature, which is expected to be rolled out to Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 in the next few months. I had made a video on some updates on uh, blood pressure monitor, which was cleared from South Korea's Ministry of Food and Drug Safety in April 2020, which enables users to easily and more conveniently monitor and track their blood pressure. Go ahead and click that link in the description below to watch that video. Alright, if you are new on this channel, just to introduce, I make videos on Android applications and Galaxy smartwatches. So if you like these topics, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm targeting a thousand subscribers and your one click can encourage me a lot. Alright, this is not a hands-on video of this app or this feature. So if you don't like the video, let me know your suggestion in the comment section below instead of disliking it. That really helps. Anyways, now let's get started. The ECG feature has been long due on Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2, the only watch in the Galaxy Watch lineup to receive this feature as the hardware is already available on this watch, which means if you need this feature, you will have to either buy this Active 2 or any upcoming Galaxy watches which may come equipped with this feature. On 24th May 2020, Samsung Electronics announced that uh, the electrocardiogram function of the Samsung Health Monitor app has been cleared by South Korea's Ministry of Food and Drug Safety authorities. This feature will enable users to measure and analyze their heart rhythm for irregularities indicating atrial fibrillation. Let's understand what is this atrial fibrillation in simple terms. This is irregular heartbeat that can lead to blood clots, stroke, heart failure and other heart related complications. Now this watch or this feature on the watch is going to help us detect the irregularities in the heartbeats and the result of which can be shared with the doctor to make more informed decisions. So how does this work on the watch? As for Samsung, you just have to open the Samsung Health application, sit comfortably and make sure the watch is fitted firmly on your wrist. You need to rest your forearm on the flat surface and place a fingertip of your other hand on the top button on the watch for 30 seconds. The app will then measure your heart rate and rhythm which will be classified as either normal regular heartbeats or irregular heartbeats. Now let me just read out a paragraph from the Samsung's announcement which will help us understand the importance of this feature. Atrial fibrillation is the most common abnormal heart rhythm affecting an estimated 33.5 million people worldwide with 5 million new patients diagnosed annually. It can significantly increase the risk of complications including blood clots, heart failure and stroke. Every year over 16 million people will develop a stroke of which atrial fibrillation and high blood pressure are known to be the leading causes. So this feature is going to be really useful for a lot of people. Samsung also made it clear that the ECG recording or Samsung Health Monitor app never looks for signs of a heart attack. It is not intended to replace traditional methods of diagnosis or treatment. Anyways, this feature is expected to be rolled out within the third quarter of 2020, but this will obviously not be a global release. It will vary by market. And in the US, it has to be FDA approved as well, so it might take some time to reach US market for sure. Alright, this was a quick update on the ECG feature on Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2. Let's all hope that Samsung releases this feature in most of the markets as soon as possible. Please do subscribe to this channel and like the video. I am done here. Until the next one, cheers. Bye-bye.